This week we're going to be swapping van life for boffy life. We have challenged ourselves to make the most of the Great British Winter. This week we'll be attempting to do something that neither of us have ever done before. We will be heading out into the Scottish Highlands, where we will be leaving the comfort of our van and walking off into the mountains. I can't believe there's this little house in the middle of the Highlands that we can use for free. Oh my god, I didn't expect it to be an actual house. Ah. <laughs> and there's even a trout we can bury up in the morning. from Perthshire in Scotland. We have a healthy dose of van life reality this morning. We've parked up on the side of the road in a service station. We've got quite a few van jobs we need to do this week. Uh, the door still isn't opening and the sink doesn't work. But we are in Scotland. Woohoo! And it's St Andrew's Day today. It's Burns Day! Burn Burns oh, night. Burns night. It's Burns night today, not St Andrew's Day. <laughs> we come to this quite fancy service station. It's got really nice warm toilets. So I went in there and washed my face brushed my teeth, went to the toilet this morning, felt like it was at a campsite, brilliant. We are actually en route at the moment to Aberdeen because we have a ferry to catch, yeah. uh, but we've decided to take the scenic route through the Cairngorms. Slightly annoyingly though, we have to go and pick up the stuff we ordered to try and fix the door and the sink, in the other which direction. is in the other direction. Secure my bananas for the drive. It's going to be a tough day today, I think, because <laughs> Isabel's in a bit of a mood. I'm not. Biting my head off, everything I say. <laughs> um, there you go, there's a little cloth for Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll and see I... you guys. That's brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. So this is the much awaited parcel. We've got some switches to fix the switch on our sink. We haven't been able to have running water from our sink for the last couple of weeks. And a wrench set to fix the door. So that's how we get posts on the road. We just send it to an Amazon locker. This one's just in a sweet little newsagent's. Welcome to the Cairngorms, guys. We're on this beautiful road going through Glenshee Valley. It's just snaking through these dramatic snowy hills around us. We're just saying this is one of our favourite roads. We're parked up on the side of the road and this is a pretty good spot for me to try and tackle the door and see if I can get opening and closing. Um, we have lots of odd jobs to do today. Hopefully we can get them done. When we came to this exact spot a year and a half ago, I was working remotely from the van and we needed internet. And we managed to get it when we put the aerials up from our little net gear box. So hopefully the same will happen again because we need to get a video uploaded today. Come on 4G, bring the action. Well, Isabel is on uploading duty. I am on fixing the door. A little bit of wiggling later, I managed to get it open. In order to get to the lock, I have to actually take it out of the door. If you haven't tried these bagels yet, mmm, delicious. And Philadelphia now do plant-based. We need signal in order for me to try and fix this door and also so we can upload our you, last YouTube video, we need to hit the road to try and find some signal as well as we're making some bagels. bagels. Uh, I just put the door back together and it immediately locked itself and we can't open it again. It's just like intermittent. Do I take it all off again? I guess I do. I've been fiddling with this lock and uh, not good. In fact, this bit of plastic <laughs> came out from inside the lock. So I don't think that's a good sign. Uh, and I think we probably need to buy a new lock. I've seen them for about £100 online. So we'll probably just have to do that, switch it out, get a new lock. Uh, it should be pretty easy to switch out. Let's see if I can do this switch. It'd be really good if I could because it'll give me a little bit of a 
morale boost. Well, Tom has had a successful afternoon of fixing things in the van. Well, semi-successful. Yeah, we might have to order a new lock, but... At least you know now what the issue is. Yeah, at least is. we gave it a go, because it it's good to try it out. Yeah, if we hadn't tried it and then spent £100 on a lock, we would have been annoyed if it was just a small fix. I've been wandering around Bray Mar. There's not many shops, but I've been just having a little walk around. Managed to buy us a bottle of Jura for our celebrating our Burns night. And also managed to find WD-40 in this small little village. So that was successful. And now we are fridge slides in and our sink works, which are two things that are really going to improve van life for us. It's those small things that just make it feel like you're a little bit uncomfortable living in the van. I think that kind of the small things pile up on each other and I'm really glad those things are fixed because having running water is a huge pro. <laughs> Being able to wash our hands, we are washing up. Yeah, it's amazing. The short days in winter just make me want to get all cozy and warm and eat lots of food. I don't know if anyone else feels the same, but I'm just on a constant savoury sweet cycle, chomping away. What do you think to that, Thomas? Yes, it sounds very good. Good. <laughs> I've, go. I've been on a walk and I've got the wind in my cheeks. Top tip, if you're feeling a little bit blue, bit frustrated, even angry with yourself, just, just go on a walk. Just put, force yourself out there, put your shoes on, walk around the village or the town or the city, wherever you live. And you will feel better after 10 minutes in the sun, in the fresh air and the sun, talking to someone in the shops, little interactions. We need to find a park up nearby. It's getting dark and I want to celebrate Burns night, crack open the whiskey, get some haggis, neeps and tatties on the cooker a nice film on Cozy Night in the Van. Yes, please. We have found this random little spot out in the mountains with this incredible backdrop. It's got dark really, really quick. You already start to see some stars. Never made a Burns Night supper before, but tonight is the night. We've got haggis, neeps, and chatties. This calls for an Omnia oven operation. Just read on the back of the haggis that it's 70 minutes in the oven and that's a lot of gas. But it's Burns night, so we're going all out. Hey Siri, set a timer for 70 minutes. So Neeps, in England, this is a Swede, but in Scotland, this is a turnip. And in Cornwall, this is also a turnip, <laughs> just to be confusing. So we call them Neeps here in Scotland. Whenever I do these cutting shots, I always think, <laughs> imagine if I catch myself cutting my finger off. Probably make quite a good video, wouldn't it? We're out of space on the hob. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put the Swede in with the haggis to just let it cook. So quick gas change later, bit more cooking. We've got our Burns Night Supper, it's coming together. It's actually quite hectic with just two hobs, trying to get it all to be hot at the same time. Um, so I'm just warming up the gravy and uh, then I'll serve up. Da, 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 da. I guess neeps and tatties. Oh, thank you, Is. Looks delicious. And this series is all about getting outside, enjoying nature, enjoying winter, and going to places we haven't been to before. And this is somewhere I definitely have been to before. I went to uni in Aberdeen, and this is where we'd come on weekends and stuff. My whole time I spent in Scotland, there was one thing I never did, and that was stay in a buffy. So we've got to quickly get ready, get all our stuff together, our backpacks, food. We've just bought a sack of coal to take with us. The weather actually feels pretty nice at the moment, pretty mild, and it feels much less wintry than it did in Northumbria. I'm really looking forward to staying out in this buffy, and it feels fitting that yesterday was Burns night. We've walked 500 metres, maybe less, and Isabel's had to run back to the van already because she's forgot her coat. She has no waterproofs, so she's run back to get it. I literally feel like Michelin Man. So stuffed. Coming to a boffy was something that me and Tom really wanted to do in this series. We were planning on doing it uh, yesterday for Burns Night, but we were a little bit off put by our Jurassic Coast camping weekend and how cold we were. We decided that actually there's a fireplace in there with a chimney. If we buy a bag of coal, I think we'll be all right. It's probably gonna be much better than being in the tent. I love being out here in the Cairngorms, the colours, the Scots pine and the heather, it's so nice and there's just no one around. 
And there's a little bit of snow on top of the mountains behind us. Oh, it's incredibly beautiful. So nice to be out here, walking out into the hills. It feels quite weird walking, knowing we're staying out the night in the Cairngorms, but without a tent. It feels a little bit risky, because we have to get to this boffy. If anything happens, like, we can't just put the tent up. Log Mick is somewhere I've been a lot, but it's amazing how you come down one of these little valleys and it just feels completely different. I've never been here before. I was following this little whiskey coloured river up through the valley. Mm. It's lovely. How are you doing with your bag? It's heavy. So my bag is really heavy. We bought the smallest bag of coal we could, which is 10 kgs. Today we are heading to a boffy, but I've just suddenly thought not everyone might know exactly what a boffy is. A small house or building out on the Scottish Highlands, which is free to stay in. So neither of us have ever stayed at a boffy. Tom's lit this one up for the walk. I haven't even seen what it looks like, so I'm really, I, I've, I'm quite glad because I've got no expectations. I do feel like we're on a bit of an adventure and I'm really glad we're doing this, not just spending a night in the van. Because that would have been the comfortable, easy option. Seems like a good place to stop for a little break. Awesome. Yeah, it's gone, it's gone so fast. Yeah, it's not too far to this boffy. Part of the reason I chose it, I didn't want a real massive hike, uh, just because if anything goes wrong, it's the first time staying in boffy, I wanted to know that we can get out easy enough. I also had assumed there'd be quite a lot of snow here because Northumberland was so snowy, but it's actually, it's actually fairly mild at the moment. We're a little bit warm, if anything. All right, let's find a little dry spot to have some food. Nice boulder for lunch, I think. Yeah, this is gorgeous, this walk. Like, because we planned to go to this boffy, and to be honest, I haven't really considered the walk much, but it's gorgeous. It's so nice. Sandwich time. The path continues on the other side of the river, and uh, we must have just missed the point where you cross. Tom thinks we should take our shoes and socks off and cross this river. It's going to be icy. All right, let's do it. Here it goes. I really don't want to put my feet in that water. It must be freezing temperatures. Oh, no. oh, that's ice cold, as you'd expect. Woo! Oh, that's cold. Well done. Oh, we got across though. <laughs> my feet are so, right. so much pain. Let's get our socks back on. Putting on dry socks after wading through that river feels amazing. It's so nice and toasty after like icy water. I'm actually really glad we just did that. That was a good call from Tom to do that because otherwise right. we would be walking with sopping boots. Feels quite different up on top of the hills here. Yeah, I've seen that. It's uh, a lot swampier. There's quite a bit of snow. feels really remote. We must be getting close now. Tom has saved the pin for our bothy on his map. We are just following the GPS towards the bothy and it's quite fun. I'm scanning the horizon for a little cute bothy. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Yeah. I can see its chimney. Hoping for the night. It's so cute. It's like a, it's like a proper little house. In the, by the river. Oh, this is, oh, <laughs> too excited, fell down. I don't believe there's this little house in the middle of the highland that we can use for free. <laughs> First impressions, amazing. Incredible landscape, incredible building. A really cute little chimney, fancy. Let's go inside. Hello. Wow, there's like proper beds and mats and everything. It's so, so cool. Oh my God. I didn't expect it to be an actual house. Probably bunk fireplace beds. and bunk beds. We've even got sleeping mats. This is so cool. And there's even a trowel so we can bury our poo in the morning. <laughs> bury human waste carefully out of sight with the spade. Okie dokie. Oh man. Look, and people, you can leave like your little notes about your stay. Oh look, someone stayed on the 4th and 5th of January. That's the last person. This is a dream. And it's going to be so cosy when we've got the fire going. 
Give it to me. Give it to me. Wait, let me go on camera. No. Let me go on camera. Yeah, let me talk. Let me talk, let me talk. Let me talk to the, let me talk to the viewers. <laughs> I want to talk to the viewers. So we've got. So, no, wait. Shush. You are water. interrupting me. Right. This is tap water. Gross, dirty <laughs> tap water. We have a river running past, which has the cleanest, crispest, fresh mountain water. Um, oh, no. Isabel, why don't no. we throw away this water? I'll put, put it, I'll oh my god, it fell out. You're so annoying. <laughs> Let's try it unfiltered. Mmm, that's nice. It is not late, but the temperature is already starting to drop out here. In this boffy, we've only got this one little window, so it is pretty dark in here. Hopefully, once we get this fire lit, we'll have a bit more light. It feels so nice just to be quiet next to this little fire going. Oh, there's something so primal about a fire. So my trousers and my boots are steaming next to the fire. It's so nice. Time to set up my little bed. First, check for Lily's any critters. Or will I regret checking? Tom's bed. My bed. Setting up our kitchen area. This is going to be our cooking station. It's so nice. There's tables in here and stuff you can use. And even if you forgot a pot and pan, there's pans here you can use. If you're interested to know what food we brought up to this boffy, I was the chief in charge of the food. We got a nice range of stuff with us. Hip flask of whiskey, we've got a couple of veggie haggises with neeps and tatties, a couple of croissants for the morning, a couple of bell beater breakfast bars for the morning as well, a couple of sandwiches for now, two apples, two pears, curry flavoured noodles, biscuits, oat biscuits, crisps, Coffee for the morning. Oh God, we have so much food. Yeah, but we're going to eat it all, let's be honest. Mm. I know I don't like whiskey unless I'm like camping, <laughs> and then it tastes good to me. Whiskey does taste better in the boffy up a mountain when you're cold and wet, and it. It tastes like the land <laughs> is where you're going to be drinking it. It is toasty in there. It's getting dark. So I'm going to get some water to cook us some dinner. Seeing as it's the day after Burns night, I'm going to make us some haggish, ne haggish, haggis neeps and tatties. Um, just got these like ready meals. I'm going to just put them in a the frying pan I found in this boffy. This morning when me and Tom were talking about coming to this boffy, I was very hesitant to do it because of how Mr. Boy was in the tent the last weekend. But actually, it's so lovely. It's very pleasant in here. The fire's going, it's roaring away. I've taken off my layers. It's so cozy. We're loving it, aren't we? Yeah. Well, we've stoked up the fire one last time before bed and we put the fire guard around it. Now we're getting into our beds, wrapping up in our layers, and hopefully we'll have a warm, cozy night. Just completely different to camping in the Jurassic Coast. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit scarring, but this has just been so nice. Good night. Good night. It's beautiful. Just woke up because I saw that this door was just like red with colours, come outside and it's so beautiful.
Wow, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was a little bit frustrating. It was. It looked like it was a bit deeper than it actually was. I thought we'd be able to get fully submerged, but you kind of just had to crouch in there. But it was really cold. But it feels good afterwards. It does. But you don't really have any rules when using the boffy. Basically, use common sense, leave the place how you would like to find it. That means take all your rubbish with you. But yeah, we've had an amazing stay here. It's been so lovely, but it's time to leave. So we're all tidied up. Final job before we leave the boffy is to write in the visitor book. And you've just been having fun reading through like other people that have stayed here. It's quite fun. There's only been two other people stay here in January. So the only downside to this trip is yesterday <laughs> I dropped my life straw at some point on the walk up. I can tell I definitely had it with me because I looked back at the footage and I had it at the start of the walk but not when we got to the boffy so I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Yeah, those tootsies warmed up. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> I think that's why you're filming. Oh my God. Thank you, Life Shore, for staying by my side, even when I let you down. Well, that was just such a perfect night away in the Boffy. Highly recommend it to anyone coming to Scotland. We paid 10 pounds for the parking of 24 hours for a camper van. Oh, and it just, I just feel so good now. I feel like really refreshed. No, it wasn't too long a walk, just the perfect experience out in nature. They've probably got all the boffy poos in it. Yeah, hopefully. I need some extra boffy poo in my fire. And there's no signal, so we're forced just to enjoy the fire and slow down. And eat loads of food. <laughs> Selling a crisp sandwich. You <laughs> troll. <laughs> Let's celebrate Burns Night in the back of the van. Let's get cosy and get haggis, neeps and tatties. What do you think to that? Sounds like similar to the last one you did. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy.